great to have the ultimate Charlie's Angel moment, and I just had one. Guys, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro, and today's video is designed to inspire you to create. Yep, I just learned how to use a drill about a year and a half ago, and anything in my house that's broken, torn down, or just needs a little tightening up, I'm armed and dangerous and ready to go. So today's furniture hack is also simple. It's to inspire you to stop watching YouTube and start applying the things that we're trying to show you that you can do right there in your own home using existing furniture or decor and simply save money and update your home. So guys, let's go ahead right after this intro and go to work. Now this coffee table sits at the foot of our bed. It is where we have our morning prayer. For safety reasons, I need to replace the glass tops with a nice cushioned top, converting it into a bed bench. It's like solid and strong and sturdy, and I've had it around for a very long time. It's like these that you can find online, ranging from $180 to $342. Don't they look like coffee tables to you? Now here are the supplies that I needed to complete my project. A coffee table, drill, one and one fourth inch screws, electric stapler and staples, pliers, spray adhesive and rubber cement, clamps and scissors. I also needed two inch thick upholstery foam, seven eighths of a yard of fabric, one half yard of fleece, pencil, sharpie and four by four sand pine plywood. Now I don't own any major carpentry tools, so I had my plywood cut at Lowe's to my specific measurements. So I have enough for today's project as well as one in the future. Now my coffee table had a little bit of a beveled edge. So with the plywood perfectly clamped to the top of the table, I decided to climb underneath the table and trace the openings where the glass was once located. I traced it with a pencil. So basically this is my amateur way of making sure that the board remained perfectly in place while I pre-drilled the holes into the board. Now this is the only part that I was slightly nervous about and that is how to determine the length of the screw that I was going to use. Well, looking at the thickness of the table and about halfway through the plywood, that measured at one and a quarter inch and that was the size of screw that I was going to use. I then used my Sharpie to get the marking and then headed off to Lowe's to buy the screws. And by the way, in case I didn't mention it, yes, I took the drill bit to Lowe's with me. Now using my mark as a guide, I pre-drilled all 13 holes into the table. Now I'm only using the numbers to help me properly align the board to the table after I've done the upholstery. Using my Sharpie, I traced around the edge of the board and I left about maybe a half inch gap on all four sides. Now you always want to apply your spray adhesives or any type of glues and paints in a well ventilated area. It was a little cold, but I got it done. Well, I allowed the foam and the board to bond for about an hour in the backyard. Or shall I say long enough for the squirrels to think that it was going to be their permanent home. Then I took it upstairs to my workspace and I covered it with white fleece. I used fleece instead of batting. The fleece was only 77 cents a yard. Now I always start in the center of the fabric when I'm starting to staple. I staple down one complete side, but not to the corners. And then I go to the opposite side so I can stretch the fabric in the opposite direction while stapling it. Now this is a part that most of us seem to dread when it comes to upholstering a seat cushion. You wanna staple almost to about maybe one inch away from that corner. You wanna leave it nice and clean. Then you wanna pull what I call bunny ears. You see that little part underneath my hand? Make the bunny ear and then place some clamps. You can use pins or whatever you may have to hold it in place and then staple. That's it. You see how nice and smooth that corner is? You don't have any fabric bunched up around the corner and just staple and remove the clamps. I love it. All that's left is to attach the cushion to the actual table using the markings that I placed earlier and voila, we are done. 
We just love our new bed bench, kneeling bench. I am so happy with how this turned out. I also included on the very bottom, in addition to a scripture, the measurements of the actual board, the fabric, the screws, so that the next time I want to redo this project, I have everything that I needed right here. What else can I say? Let's think twice about throwing out those old coffee tables. So whether you're going to put it in the bedroom, the living room, or now even the dining room, you can update it and turn it into something fabulous like this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're inspired to create. I am broadening my horizons to do a whole lot more projects like this. I've got chairs. I have got beds to do. I can't wait to share it all with you. Look for me on Facebook, Pinterest, Google+, Roku, Via iFood. TV and now on Twitter at Amateur Decor One. And please subscribe if you want to be the first to know when I've posted my very next video. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.